it's early o'clock. I've got my driving spectacles on. I'm going to do some fishing. Carp fishing. I'm going to try. Not that we're going to catch anything, but that's not the point, is it? We're having a day sesh. A day sesh. Can't remember the last time I'd done a day session for car, but it's probably about 1986. Right, I need some coffee to wake up. I've forgotten how to do it. It's zero degrees, it's early, and it's foggy. Still early. It's still cold, and it's still foggy. Badger! Dead one. Right, I'm here. It's cold. It's miserable. So let's cheer ourselves up. Federal Malvinas! What are you doing? Playing with his boilies. Pedro! You getting kettle on? Yeah, get it on. Top bomber. Get that kettle on. Right, I forgot my tripod, so you're going to have to suffer me with this like this on on my head. And it's packed. Look at these fucking reprobates, they're everywhere. Chuck a block today. It is. They're going for the water, he said. So I'm going to commandeer them and they can carry me fucking gear. Top bomber. <laughs> <laughs> right, so you're going to have to suffer me carrying the camera, I'm afraid. I've got my head cam, that's about it. Pedro Malvinas, you're looking very intellectual there with them spectacles on. You'll be Ryan Giggs. Have you caught out, mister? Fuck off, you know. Yeah. So can I borrow an up, mister? Yeah, you can have that. You can have an up, mate. You can I have an up, mister? <laughs> yeah. What are you doing? You're coming dressed like that, you're hard as fuck, you. Yeah. Where are you from, Warrington? Yeah, Latchford. <laughs> Hard as nails. Yeah. Right, I'm freezing my titties off. I'm going to get my gear down there, mate. I'll come back and ball like you. All right, mate. Right, I'm on peg 46. We are at the piece at Quiet Lake, if you didn't notice. I've got me holiday stuff. There's some towels in there. A couple of makeup bags. Shit like that. And when I'm peg 46, I have fished this before. I've actually got a plan. Well, the plan is to catch some fish, but we're not having much luck. It's a problem with these jackets. Oh, cheers for that, matey. You're an absolute gentleman. I'll put that there. Let's go and see the Brockster. <laughs> it's Chubby Brown. <laughs> I'm off to Benidorm, <laughs> see Sticky Vicky. Fucking hell. You come for a fucking week? I have. I'm sleeping in that suitcase. <laughs> Makes a nice little lean to when you put the lid up. Oh, very good. Uh, you got a kettle on? Then. Yeah, yeah, do you want a break? I, I've, I've brought a little flask for now. No, I've, got, I've got a kettle, just don't make, make kettle, so... Have you, have you set up yet? No, we've, no. we've actually got a plan today, haven't we, mate? Well, we have, yeah. Until I got here and can't see fuck all. I know, it's a bit it's foggy, isn't it? Yeah. But it shouldn't. Have that shouldn't affect the fishing because we never catch it out anyway. No. No, we're only here for a day out, really. Yeah. If we get bored, we can always shoot some at. Yeah. Right, so, so, so I'm with the Broxter, Pedro Malvinas, we're having a little bit of a day sesh, but we've actually got a plan of attack for today, haven't we? Yeah. Haven't we, Brocky? What's, we that, what's, that, have. what's that plan of attack that the me and you have come together with? We're going to hit this fucking plateau on here. The snooker table, as we know it. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have a Bashford Bream stroke carp. So it's Bream fishing with chance of carp? Yeah. You said we were going carp fishing. Oh, yeah, Bream fishing with chance of carp. Yeah. Um, so, if we don't catch any carp, we don't look like a pair of bell ends. Yeah, we'll probably not catch any bream neither, but at least we <laughs> <laughs> can't say we've not given it a go. Yeah, God loves a tryer, doesn't she? Do they? He, Especially or whatever gender it fucking is. Well with these conditions. I mean, what? 
said this time of year as well with these conditions, it's fucking freezing. It I fucking is. Bad. I can't believe it was so cold this morning. I was going to come yeah. up in my shorts and flip flops, and I walked out of the house and I went, I've only put a thin jacket on as well. Have you? Yeah. Put and that. there's you fucking come as chubby oh, brown. I'll put the bear coat on. I didn't fucking put an out on. Yeah. Until it freshens up. So I'll 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 fuck me, you see. Well, it's well, got 12 degrees today, so... Has it? Yeah. Oh, when the current bun comes up, because it is still early doors, it's only daft o'clock at the moment. Half seven, eight, so... So, we're going to bait boat out. Are you fishing corn? I've got, well, I've brought corn, I've got some pellet, I've got two bags of corn. Happy days. I, uh, because I, I hit the snooze button and fucked up this morning. Guess what I run out of the house with, without? The, the, the gate. The bait. The bait, so I'm gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to scrounge some off the we'll brocks to improvise, adapt, and yeah. overcome. Yeah, right, I'm gonna get my gear set up. We haven't got a tripod, so you're gonna have to fucking make do with this bollocks. All right, see you in a bit, kids. Top bomber. Gotta get some gear out, hadn't I? It's the only way we're gonna be in with a chance of catching some it. If we actually get me tackle out, see what bites. Because oh. we've got a plan. We have got a plan. And the plan is to put some hooks with some food on out there on the bottom of the lake. And try and catch one of them things with friends. What we got here? I've not had these out for a few years. What we got? We have got Daiwa Day Power Mesh. I've had these donkeys years. I've been getting on for 20 years now. Two pound test curve, 13 foot. Got some cheeky little rigs on there. And a mouldy lead. That's not a bad rig. I think I'll be using that to be perfectly honest. So, I've only got two rods. As I say, 13 foot 2 pound. I use these for tench fishing really, but I did use them for carp in Sweden. So I've had a few carp on them. Yeah. And my old. Shimano bait runners, 8,000 GTEs, would you believe it? They've got fresh line on because I stuck some on. Because I did set these up for canal fishing. Yeah, 13 foot for canal fishing. Uh, there's one out. I think I'll get me a, I'll get my bank sticks and my alarms out. Who can remember where they are. British Army MTP 50 litre day sack. What we got in here? Sexy. Gotta be Delkins, has not it? And my old school solar hangers. Fully stainless. A yellow one. I think I'll have a red one as well. It'd be rude not to. I might need a couple of bank sticks. There we go. That's the circuit. We're on a winner now, lads. I tell you, Jim Dandy. What the fuck's going on here? Not that. That'll do. I'll have two the same. Have you done that brew yet, Broxter? My lips need feeding with caffeine, Your Honour. Here comes the Broxter. It's chilly. We've got a frosty surface. 
and the Broxter's bringing the brews in. Top yeah, bomber. Out there, love. Top bomber. Cheers, mate. Oh, that's the ticket. Can't be a good brew in the morning. You can't. Can you put some coffee in that for us, mate? <sighs> it's a sachet. Oh, you haven't gone sachet. I don't. I don't fuck yeah. Fucking with these, mate. For me on a day ticket. That's for gay boys. I don't get, I've got a caramel. And one social well. justice warriors. Well, you haven't put soy milk in it, have you? Don't be fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> <Weirdo>. <laughs> Right, one at Rods isn't rigged up. I must have snapped off last time I used it. So, got my little tackle box. Little NGT thing. Just a ticket that. Seven quid. With inside boxes. Them things. No. Oh, it's my little go anywhere. Cart box, enough to get a day's fishing or 50. Bit of lead core leader, that'll do me. A little lead, I think I'll have a that's uh, not quite two ounces, I don't think. Oh, there we go. There's a two ounce, uh, a two ounce lead. That's not lead core either. That's light lead core, but it's got no lead in it. Still a leader, and that's what matters. Uh, all right, so I'll rig that up, get that on, find a rig, stick that on, and then we can think about getting them out there. Eh? It'd be rude not to. My brew's over there. Does my ass look big in these? Have you caught out, mister? Not yet, mister. You caught out yet, mister? Not yet. You been, have, you, have you been bin bagged? Not yet. Is she kicking you out? Yeah. Fucking hell. Out. She's fed up with me being at home with this lockdown bollocks. Is it? Yeah. Oh. So. Give me your credit card and tell her get online for a few hours. She has it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm skint. Ah, tell me about it, mate. Right, I'll see you in a bit, Lee. See you later. Say mate. Hope you don't come. Hope you catch something. I hope so. Yeah. Yeah. If you catch it out, it's going to be fuck all. I'll tell you that. Right, let's have a look at this fancy rig. So, yeah, that's £25 cord of boom looking at that. Just a crimped on loop with a uh, 
quick release jobby there. A little bit of putty. And we'll have that sat up. A couple of bits of corn. Over a bit of corn in the ground bit that Brocky's made over there. Here's my rat Sunday dinner and all. And a two ounce unmade lead. So that's going on the right hand rod. And the other rod I'm gonna have a little wafter. Yellow one. I'm gonna bait bolt it out. We bought the bait bolt so we can get it. Precision, accuracy. That's the name of the game today. Uh, let's see if we can bag up. Ooh. This is rather fresh, Your Honour. That's me bait bucket. We'll have one of them pineapple smaskins on there. Happy days. No, one of them. That's a pop-up. That's a wafter. Pop-up. Wafter. Wafter. Pop-up. Right, I've changed my mind. I've actually gone for an orange one. That's peach and pepper. And that. Should sit like that on the bottom. Hopefully, I can hear him casting. Happy days. Right. So we're all rigged up now, guys and girls. We just need to get them out there. But first, we'll have a rod around. Got to find the snooker table. So, we'll find the snooker table and then we can stick our rigs and bait on top of it. Because we have got a cunning plan, my lord. Hello, mate. All made bolts of float, very buoyant, so it needs a quite a big lead uh, to hold that down so the leg bounces along the bottom. That's a four ounce minesweeper on a ball bearing swivel. That ain't getting tangled. Stiff boom, 25 mil foam ball, and a nice run ring. Carbon steel, very smooth. Somebody said that's a washer. I told them, no it's not, you complete fucking dickhead. And a 12mm rubber bead. Again, on the float I've got a ball bearing swivel. So nothing should get tangled in theory, which it never usually does. So, Brockster! It's Marker Rod City, sir. Are you prepared? Yeah. Happy days. I'll come round there and we'll have a bit of a few uh, a few chucks out into the ogin. Two. Yeah. I'm going to finish me brew and I'll be over in two shakes of a donkey's penis. What are we doing mate? Are you doing the old tortillas? Yeah, I'll just clip up on my uh, Tortillas? Nine wraps. It is from yours. I reckon you'll be full after two. <laughs> so what the plan of attack is, is the snooker table out there is basically a plateau with like a square top on it. And it's about eight foot deep. Well, it might be eight, might be nine, might be seven, depends on water level obviously. Uh, so it's about the size of a snooker table and round it, how, how much is round it? About 15 foot? Yeah, but it drops off at the back 
Yeah. It goes from 11 foot from where the island is and then comes back into a channel. So you've got a bit of a channel yeah. in that. Then it comes back up 10 foot and then it comes to the tabletop. Yeah. Depending on what the water level's like. If it was at 8, 8 yeah. last week when I tried it. Yeah. And then it comes back, drops off either side to 11, 12 foot. Right. And then drops off as you're coming back off to 15 foot all the way back. Right, so you got that then. So, 8 foot ish the tabletop is and either side it drops down to 11 and then as you come in it comes down to 15 foot so we're going to try and get on the table and we're going to bang four rods on that see if we can't get ourselves a bream bream yeah what we're saying here bream <laughs> <laughs> bream well then we're in with a chance then aren't we we're in with a chance so we've got all our technology geared up. I've got the marker float, that homemade jobby, and the Broxter has got a deeper. So we're going to be on target, and then we'll bait boat out. What could possibly go wrong? So the Broxter's just chucked out there. There it is, the deeper. It's what, eight foot four? Eight foot four now. Eight foot four, and it's five degrees in the water. Happy day, so we'll chuck out there onto the snooker table and find out where it is. Right, show us some of your casting skills, Broxter. Don't cock it up because I won't edit it out. All right, yo, that's that's looking pretty close to it, mate. What are we looking at there? Well, let me have a mooch. It's going to start at this end, so it's showing at seven there. Seven foot four. That's the got. That's got to be the snooker table, mate. You're on it. I'm on one side of it. So yeah. Hang on, that's froze. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Well, it's cold. Oh, it's going on, Brocky. See, if it's got working parts and technology, there's always a chance of it going wrong. Right, that. after a couple of def technical difficulties there, we're at 14 and a half foot now, so 15 foot, that's in front, so that's probably the deepest part, we reckon. 15 foot, that's in front of it. Four rod lengths out there. Four rod lengths out and it's 15 and a half foot. 15 two. Coming it's coming up, up, up. Yeah, it's coming back up. There you go. Let me see if I can get this yeah, we'll have another shot, mate. Okay, so that's over. off to the left of it. Do you no, reckon? Be well over, over it. Over the top of it. Yeah. Let's have a look. So we're at eight six. There. Eight six. Yeah, you're on it, mate. Yeah. Let's. Uh, yeah, eight six. You're on top of it. There it is. There's the snooker table. Right. I'll look where it is now. Oh look, there's Steve Davis. <laughs> and Ronnie O'Sullivan's just walked in. Yeah, eight seven. Eight eight. Right, let's chuck the marker float out there. See where that reed is on the far bank, use a marker. See, I'm using that as my direct marker now. I've got the gigs on, so I don't know what to do with it. Nine foot now. Nine foot. Nine. 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 N
So, have a go around that, see what's uh, see what's going on there, Blockster. You clipped up, oh sorry. Eight foot, eight and a half foot there mate behind it. Right. So it's eight and a half foot behind it. Yeah. Nine, seven, nine, nine, ten. That's right, on it now. Eleven. Eleven. So well, that's coming down the front bank. So you need to yeah, be a bit further forward. A bit further out, yeah. Let, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll do, I'll, I'll, I'll do it now on here. What are you doing on here now then? Fish up there. Is it? Fish up there. Yeah, well we won't catch them. Oh! They're on the front bank. Yeah. So, you know, if you go, leave that marker float there now. Just go to, go to your peg and get, and get an idea of where that float is compared to your rock. Let me have a look then. 8-6, let's see where you are, mate. Oh, yeah, just behind it. Yeah, I think I'm coming down the front slope with the marker float there, mate. So I'll, I'll have another chuck. Okay. No, I'll go mark this up for you now, and then you can mark your marker. Oh, no. I'll give it another chuck. Bring it up the back slope. Put it on top, let it up, get the eight foot. And then uh, okay. I'll leave it there, and then we can... Uh, so you get an idea where it is now. So if you're f casting from here... Yeah, a bit further I, out. I cast the big patch of grass at the back yeah yeah the, just to the left of it you've got a gap and then a little bit of in there yeah right in the middle of the two dead reeds yeah so yeah the marker float out you can't see it because this is a this is a thing you can can't zoom in so marker's just here he's just cast the deeper right next to it yeah. and well, it's not it's not set again oh right it's, it's not set. set we're not it's because we've had it out again <laughs> professor <laughs> So we're at 10 foot. Drop right off now. 13, yeah, that's the slope in it at the front. Have another cast out next to the float now. Now we've got that banged up. We're at 15 foot now, and what are we? Yeah, 15, 20 yards out. Yeah, 15 foot. Right, bang it right next to the float, mate. Yeah, we'll see okay. what the crack is. Oh, it's right next to the float. Yeah. Right next to it. Eight, and we, five, eight, two, eight, 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 four, one. eight, four. Yeah, that's the table, mate. Bang on wet float. Is. So you want that left hand side? I do. You get the right hand side, yeah. and we'll bag up, mate. Well, you want to get quite close to that? Yeah, so I'll put I'll put my right hand rod right next to it, and then a few feet away, and yeah. you do the right hand side, yeah. and we'll be in business, mate. Then we can sit out, right. sit down, have a brew, chill out. And then we'll get up in about half an hour, start hauling big carp. Okay. Bream. Yeah. Bream, bream, bream. I meant to say bream then. Yeah. All right, so we've got a bit of gunk to go out over the top. Yeah, obviously bait boat it out. Looks like there's pellet, corn, pellet, corn, and some other stuff in there. Oh, tagging up. Yep, tagging up. Happy days. A couple of handfuls of that, I think. Won't go too mad. It is February. So, that's right hand rod.
I'll do. I'll get them grubbing about if they want to get grubbing about, and if they don't get grubbing about, it'll be like normal, won't it? Put that bang on. Felt it down. It certainly wasn't 15 foot. Yeah, right hand rod is. Little bat lad, oh made, nice little one because it's coming down that 15, that 15 foot. So we'll try and pull the line down the banking out there. That's the plan. It's eight foot deep here. Now we're cooking. We're cooking on gas. Right, left hand rod, a little wafter. Quick shuff to the old munchies. That'll do. So oh, that's the Broxter's left hand rod. That's his rig, well left hand rod anyway. A little bit of corn, we'll get that next up marker flow out there. On the old Snookarly table, Arsus. Yes. You want some of that gubbins in there, mate? Oh yes, please. Mate, fill both Don't hoppers. How many how much do you want in it? Fill both hoppers. You got you got a fucking shovel? Just tip it in, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, both up, I'm going to have to close this one. Ah. Brock's just kicking the ass out of it. I'm going to catch fuck all now. Put more in, mate, more in, load it, load it.
Oh, for fuck's sake. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. You want some more? That's, yeah, well, if you want to put on a couple more handfuls in up left, yeah, sound. Go, mate. I know. <laughs> They'll be fat as fuck eating all that. I'll tell you what, a fucking shoulder bream on that'll be gone in fucking half hour. If less than that. Oh yeah, we'll have to bream, aren't we? <laughs> That's it, we're bream fishing. Right, let's get that bad boy out there. Yeah. I'm going to put that boat in the water level will rise two inches uh, now. Uh, 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 there we go, left two. Left. To, left to the left of the buoy now, a big clump of grass at the back. Head for that. So you pretty much left, left right, chuck right close to the float if you can. Bang on snooker table, mate. Pot the brown. Woohoo! <laughs> Ooh, little tea towel holder. And there's Brooks' second rig. That's a little wafter. Three ounce lead. And a bucket full of gubbins over the top. Let's see how much I can get on the floor as well. Because it'll be fun, he said. There we go, that's the ticket. A bucket full of smaskins. Nom, nom, chuffing nom. So, bring marker float in now, we're all set, we're ready to go, we're fishing. Three time. Kettle on. Sun's out, plums out. Right, right can chill out now. Now we're talking, aren't we, mate? Yeah. Do you want a uh, Quaker Oats? Quaker Oats? Oh, I'll have some Quaker Oats, mate, if you've brought two. Yeah. I've brought some boiling the bag potatoes and some packet pastas. I'll have to get some more water out of this car. I've got the Rubens out for this one. Zero them. Lucky days. That's much better now. Ten ounces! Ten ounces! It's a ten ounce bad boy! Oh, I think I'll have to seal that now. Ten ounces, Pedro! That's a pistolless bag! We have some Quaker oats. Yeah. Oats so simple. Very convenient, isn't it? Yes. Bit of stodge. Yes. Bit of hot stodge in the morning. Yeah, I reckon it'll be a better one than a ten ounce next time. Uh -huh. With that stodge. Somebody else is on. Did he? Who's coming? Oh. People coming fishing. It's the solar powered anglers. What flavour have I got, Broxter? You're on golden syrup. I'm on mate. golden syrup. Well, I'm on golden, golden syrup. syrup. Oh, oh, it's so simple. And I've got in here. Oh, shit, we're not to iPod. I didn't in my pocket. I've got a titanium spoon. I've got a plastic sturdy spoon. A fork. That spoon for stirring tea. And a nice back old Laplander and a motor Kneeve. Happy days. Yep. Better to have it not need it than need it and not have it. You're right there. Let's have a look at this, what's in it. Oh, 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 oh. Single beep on the right hand rod. It's them ducks, mate. Yeah. I thought I had a touch before. You get a bit of a touch on. You nearly slopped your stodge then. Stodge Get that stodge down you Gregory. Okay. Don't look anything like what I fired in that bag earlier. So, kettle's on Broxter. 
Are you wanting coffee? Coffee white two sugars, please, sir. Coffee white two sugars. Happy days. We're on a winner. That can go on there. Get my coffee spoon out. Bit dirty. And it is stolen. Can't remember where from. It's a dessert spoon, isn't it? <laughs> it's one of them latte spoons, but it's good for getting deep into a yeah, bag of yeah. rice or a big big cup. Yeah. You know, like your big cup. Yeah. So we've got coffee. What have we got in here? This is posh coffee, this. It's not from Morrison's. I've got a Morrison's carrier bag there. Full. <laughs> it's not full of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> it's not full of coffee. It's the same colour, but not quite coffee. How many sugars, mate? Two, please. Two. Oh. And a bit of acker belk. Oh, yeah. Mm. Have you not had a granddad nap? No, mate, I've had one in a bit. Mm. I had a bit of a, a granddad nap and then a dead arm woke me up. So we've got the old Swedish Strangia Army Issue pots. Yeah. On a MSR Whisper Light. There we go. Don't buy one of them to lighten your bivvy. Yeah, you'll end up like Joan of Arc. <laughs> and it don't take long to boil. Tell you that, Professor. Oh, hang on. Hang on. Oh. Oh, out. The dish is too hot, you'll never guess what. I got Joy Division oven gloves. If it's a desire to put fingers in the fire, I got Joy Division oven gloves. Ooh, tropical diseases. In me Joy Division oven gloves. Ooh, the Galilee shrimp buds. Image your division oven gloves. Hallelujah. This is the life in it, Brockster. That's still. There you go, that, sir. Is that still on? Yeah, That's it takes still. a while. There's still petrol in pipe. Cheers, Walker. Enjoy division oven gloves. Oh, that's the problem with powdered milk. It's still a little bit hot, isn't it? You, want it. you enjoying that cup of coffee, Brockster? I am, mate, yes. I've made a strong one. Do you yeah, like strong? Yeah, it is, of yeah. It's creamy, actually. It's, it's very creamy. creamy. Not much of a granddad nap after that, mate. No. Well, It'll well, be more well. of a raving on the bank type <laughs> scenario. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's quite tasty. It is, very tasty. Hey, you'll never guess what. What? The dish is too hot. <laughs> I got your division oven gloves. <laughs> You have a tinkle then, Brockster. Tinkle on right hand rod. That's the margin rod, isn't it? Well, margin of the island. That's it. Coot will come up now, mate, waving at you. Half one. Not had a beep. Not surprising. No bream. No carp. No tedge. Nothing. Sun's out though. A little bit of vitamin D. Can you not knock it?
so 28th of February 2021 and no carp have been out of this lake yet this year not one a bloke caught a roach the other day though bagging up that is Here he comes, Digger Dan, ruining the Atmos. <laughs> Watch out, Gray. Here's Digger Dan. A few renovations and the only day I come fishing this year. <laughs> Behind me peg! <laughs> oh, no, we don't catch anything! <laughs> Fucking okay, mad man! That's done, mate. A fucking lunacy! Safe now. With me, Joe Division of the Gloves. What the fuck's he up to? What's he doing? Firewood! <laughs> oh, I'm packing up! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Look at your really rods in, isn't it? <laughs> Firewood, Pat. What are you doing, Patricio? I just lost control. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit dead anyway, that, isn't it? It is now. Yeah. I'm building a peg. It's uh, scooping it out for a rather large bivvy's going in there eventually. Yeah. He just likes to do it on a Sunday afternoon when the sun's out. So, chaps and chapesses, I think that is the fishing done for today. I think uh, we might as well knock it on the head. Yeah, someone's dropped a big tree in the <coughs> swim. It's half three now. There's a fucking silver birch just been dragged out of the lake. Right. It's been emotional. <laughs> I'm reeling in. Wait for me. Is that your new prestige batter, mate? Is it that rustic colour? <laughs> Seventeen ninety nine Sports Direct for bait boat, and then you put your unlucky mat in it. You've got a cradle. Tips, tricks, and Andy loves spuds. So quick day sesh. It's been quite eventful, hasn't it? We'll have another go another time. See you later kids, drop bomber! <laughs>